harassment. Most of my delegation is women. This is my ninth day in Sharm el Sheikh, and there's movement in all tracks and finances. And but what's most important for the Maldives and small islands is the track of negotiations on loss and damage. And there's been a lot of discussions on it. First of all, where we when we started having an agenda item is something that has never happened before. Just coastal um, adaptation comes up to about eight billion dollars. We have submitted... Um, From my conversations, there is genuine interest and, and genuine concern for the issue of loss and damage, which has for many years been in the back burner. And people realize that it can no longer <laughs> be out of focus and it has received the attention it deserves. The question is whether we get what we have been demanding, not just this year, for the past 30 years, small island states have been advocating for increasing adaptation finance, um, and increased ambition on mitigation and also addressing um, ways to address loss and damage. recording 67,000 up till yesterday. To make its green transition happen, it needs everyone to be there. But in short, she threw out the... The beginning of the COP was a real success that with the economic crisis, food security crisis, energy crisis, those number of world leaders came to Sharm el Sheikh to prove that the climate change is not a second priority and still a necessity with all the statements that they have given and the round tables that Egypt presidency has planned to do with all the involvement of all world leaders. Secondly, the negotiations like any of the COP is having that back and forth between the developed and the developing country, global north and global south, but still there is a kind of agreement that we need to push the agenda forward, push the 1.5 for the mitigation work program forward, start progressing on adaptation agenda, and discussing more in details the loss and damage. We're not talking about the big picture, we're talking about really the nitty gritty details on the talks. The complete conclusion, whoever has been uh, working on a climate process and a climate talks, it come in the second week during the last two days. But if you want a concrete thing for Africa, I'll tell you the adaptation initiative and the activation on an African adaptation initiative that was lying there, not activated and operating for the last seven years. And yesterday it was operated by the support of the developing, developed countries by putting more funds in that. That's a concrete thing that we can talk about. As came to Sharm el Sheikh to prove once again that the climate agenda is there and a big of incentives for allowing the private sector investment, also the participation of the multilateral development. The ministers that will take over the, the, the text on Monday and then the presidency would be facilitating all the discussion to bridge the gap. So rest assured that Egypt will be fulfilling its role to bridge that kind of gap in order to push that agenda forward. But it depends on all of us on that.